Hi everyone, in this video we will look at the differences between using C in and get line. This program works as expected if I'm putting just one word at a time for user's name. So test one, test two, test three. But what happens if I put in first name and last name? Let's see what happens. So test one, test one one. Okay. And now it doesn't ask me for the second entry, the second name. Because what it does with C in is it takes one word at a time. And the minute it sees a space, it just um, keeps the rest in the buffer. So when it came to the second entry, it will store that value that was sitting in the buffer for this on the second index or whatever that was supposed to be stored in the second C in statement. Now, because there are no words left in the buffer, now we can put in a new value. So test 3, test 33. And so when we output the results, you'll notice that we've got test 1 as the first value. Test test name 2 gets whatever that was stored in or remaining sitting on the buffer. And for the third one, it only got test skipping all the rest. So how do we get all the details? So git line is a method that can be used to get the whole line that was entered by the user. So how do we do that? Instead of C in, just a few changes. All I need is to say git line, call the method, and now I'm passing to it C in and the value where I want my user entry to be stored. That's it. It's as simple as that. Let's see how this works. And run. Now when I say test one, test 11, it successfully stores all the results in that record or index of the array. And it's, it's the same with the variables. So if I was working with variables, it will still store the whole line. And now we were successfully able to store all the results in each index of the array as a whole line of text. And we were able to do that using the get line method. So, whenever you need only just one value, one word, you can use the C in, like we did previously. Um, um, that could also include numbers and floats, of course. With get line, if you wanted more than one word, and this works with strings. Um, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.